Developing tonight, a war of words between Fresno City Council members over the controversial split of the gas tax dollars. Councilman Gary Bredefeld firing off this tweet just a few hours ago. It's in response to four council members saying South and Central Fresno should receive more gas tax funds than Fresno, North Fresno that is. Bredefeld calling it, quote, class warfare politics. Now earlier today, council members Miguel Arias, Luis Chavez, Esmeralda Soria and Nelson Esparza declaring Mayor Brand's gas tax allocation plan dead on arrival. It begs the question, how will the city now decide to split up the $12 million to fix the city's roads? This day means today is the day when we start to turn the page on the tale of two cities and start to put our money where our mouth is. The battle lines are drawn at the heart of the matter, the cracked and crumbling streets and sidewalks of Fresno. It's not about just being equal, it's about equity. If you have a neighborhood that has cracked sidewalks, that has no sidewalks, that has potholes, you should invest those dollars amount in the areas that need it the most. Council members Luis Chavez, Ismael de Soria, and Miguel Arias believe Mayor Brand should allocate more money from the SB1 fund to rebuild the roads in their districts, saying North Fresno neighborhoods have more economic strength and amenities. I don't think it's right to take away all those taxpayers uh, from North Fresno and make them uh, tell them that they're not going to get anything with their taxes and that only Central and South Fresno are going to get things with their, with the, their tax dollars. Mayor Lee Brand will introduce his plan to allocate the $12 million from the SB1 fund on Thursday. But he did get out in front of the strong opposition he's facing, saying in part, quote, crumbling roads and sidewalk cracks don't have political affiliations or agendas. His proposal is simply a slap in the face of residents in South Fresno because it doesn't treat us as if we're one full city. It treats us as business as usual, which is they can just give us a bare minimum. Now, Councilman Gary Bredefeld and C. Brandout will be holding a press conference of their own tomorrow morning. The mayor says they have until May 1st to submit the project plans to Caltrans. New